I also will give them my knowledge of financial transactions at FIFA, including, but not limited, to Sepp Blatter. I have been there for 30 consecutive years. I was a heartbeat away from Blatter. I said to him in 2011, it's time, at, at 75, it's time to step down. Yeah. My friends, what Ben Hammam, who came here, and what he did or didn't do, he did, whatever he did or didn't do was not inconsistent with FIFA's practice for over 100 years. So. What's the difference? What, what, of what difference is it, is it between Ben Hammam and the English national football team coming here to play against Real Tobago? They, they like you? Yeah. What is the difference it make against Ben Hammam and, and Beckham having a coaching clinics at the Center of Excellence? Yeah. What, what difference it makes? But the problem is, the problem is, the whole issue in 2011 is a Muslim was going up against Blatter. Yeah. And the second thing is, a Muslim caused the US to lose, to lose the bid. Yeah. Because you see, as far as you're concerned, as far as I'm concerned, Muslims are not important. And I tell you again today, the Arabic world, they pay as much money for FIFA rights as anybody yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. And in 2011, when I went against Blatter, and let me tell you again, that Bin Hammam and I spent days and weeks and nights with him in 98, traveling all over the world, begging people to vote for him, you know. He was going against, against Johansson. He was going against Hayatou. And each time, Benham and I, I we, we were soldiers. When things were falling around him, we stood up with him. But in 2011, when I asked him to step down, as I asked Pandey some years ago, he turned against me, <laughs> against Benham. And the problem has the problem begin. So I wrote him a letter. I said to him, good morning, Mr. Brother. I'm sorry to hear that you are stepping down, in bracket, but it should be tomorrow, not the day after. Close bracket. Because you, you can't stay, say you step down and just stay for seven more months. Yeah. You, can't, you, can't, you can't do that. You yeah? can't do that. People begin to, to question you. You will be a lame duck president, and so on. People will, people will ask you if you cook any books, and so on. Right? So I said to him, step down. But I said to him, Mr. Blatter, I empathize with you. Because I was in 2011 where you are today. The only difference is that you caused my demise, I didn't cause yours. And I'll say more about that and all the funding from FIFA and what it did, what it didn't do, and so on. And what Blatter, where your money come from, and so on. But I'll tell you something, half the things you hear, guys, half the things you hear are not true. true. You, all, you, all rush, you all rush, rush to right. You all rush to right. It's not true. South Africa didn't give me any $10 billion bribe. Didn't give me any bribe. Blatter didn't give me any bribe. And a, a guy today, Mark Basson, asked him some foolish questions, right? I say, not tonight. Not tonight, not, 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 not tonight. Because at the end of the day, they rush to print because each media wants to do the other. And they write nonsense. Blatter knows why he fell, and if there's, if there's one other person who knows, I do. But media, then for you, that for the four lawyers. Oh,